Good morning. It is 6.30 a.m. and I am going to hop up and go to the gym. I'm going to turn the light on. It's <laughs> better. I'm um, going to hop up and go to the gym. I sometimes go to the gym, sometimes not. So I haven't been for a few days, so I'm going to go this morning. I'm going to do a quick hit session, but th this time is a really busy time for my gym. So I'm not going to film it because it's just going to be a bit too hard at this time. So I'll pop up, um, usually make the bed, brush my teeth, get changed. And then I'll go to the gym and I'll come back and I'll show you how I get ready for my morning. <laughs> I just finished, as you can see, I'm all red and my hair is a mess. Um, I did a hit session, clearly. It was only about maybe four, oh, 50 minutes, including 20 minutes on the treadmill. Um, and now I'm just gonna go grab some petrol because I'm almost like completely empty. And then I'm gonna go home and I'll show you guys my stretching sequence. All right, I am home now. I have a little bit of a sore back now because I think I overdid it on the ski erg at the gym. So I'm just going to stretch that out, have a bit of a stretch. Then I'm going to do a meditation. I usually use Bloom app to do a meditation, which is Chloe Zepp and Molly Jane's app. Um, it's awesome. I do it because they have really nice guided meditations. But because I'm recording this on my phone, I can't really use the app because that is also on my phone so i think what i'll do today is just do just a norm, like a non-guided meditation i'll just do it on my own and take about five minutes of just sitting with my thoughts <music> Alright, so I've just had a shower and I sort of semi straightened my hair. My hair's usually really frizzy, so I just sort of straighten it to like defrizz, but not to fully have it straight, if that makes sense. I'm just going to quickly do my everyday makeup routine, which is quite minimal, um, and then that'll be it. I obviously usually do have breakfast in the morning, but today I've decided I'm going to fast. Um, partly because it's grocery time and I don't have much interesting stuff for breakfast and partly because I'm not really that hungry so I'm just going to wait till about 11 or 12ish and I'll just start the day with lunch. I start with my Eco Sonia face tan water. Um, it's really good. It reckons it's, um, what's the word, non-commodogenic or 
something like that. Um, organic, all that sort of stuff. So it's got that, probably most of you know it anyway, it's really um, popular, but it's got the little spout thing there. And I like it because it's not really makeup and it's not really fake tan, like it's just literally some coloured water. And you just rub it on your face. I like it because I don't really like to wear foundation um, or like powders or anything unless I'm going out. I'll wear foundation, but I've got like, I've got quite big pores. I don't know. If, well, I think I do. Along there, I used to have. I still do sometimes get um, acne, um, but I used to have quite bad pimples, and I think that just sort of caused my pores to be a little bit open and maybe some scarring. Um, I still have, as you can see, like, not really active pimples. I just sort of constantly have, like, red dots there. Occasionally, I'll get, like, hormonal, a couple of, like, cystic hormonal ones along there, but this is pretty much the state of my skin constantly now. Um, so I like this because it's natural. It doesn't break me out. A lot of makeup breaks me out. A lot of face washes break me out, actually. I still haven't found them that I like. Um, this is really good. I don't put this on every day. I don't put it on very much at all, actually. I put it on maybe like once a fortnight, maybe. Because it evens your skin tone out, those red dots don't show up as much. And also my dark circles don't really show up as much. So it just sort of have a little bit more even and glowy face. Um, so that will look a bit different in like an hour and then by this afternoon it'll look even more different. I've got work this afternoon so I'm just putting on my makeup now. I don't put my makeup on if I'm just staying at home obviously but I'll put it on now for you guys. Um, so then I just do some mascara. I have, this is like literally oh, like dried out pretty much. I have to buy a new one but um, Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express. It's literally, I just buy all my like makeup from the grocery store. <laughs> I'm no makeup artist. Um, and also, I used to do my top and bottom lashes, but I found at the start of last year, I used to get um, like lash extensions put on, and then obviously you don't get lash extensions on the bottom lashes. So I, always, I just got used to seeing myself with, um, you know, long, dark, top lashes and nothing on the bottom. And then when I stopped getting my lashes done, oops, and just started doing mascara again, it felt weird, like it looked weird when I started doing it on the bottom to me. I feel like it's just a bit of a cleaner, brighter look just to have it on the top lashes. So, that's what I do. A lot of you might disagree, that's fine. If I go out, which is like never, but I mean like go out to dinner or something, um, then I will usually put it on the bottom because I'll have like a full sort of face of makeup with this um, foundation and stuff. But otherwise, my day to day, I don't put it on the bottom. As you can see, I'm literally, I just have no idea what I'm doing. I just put it on my eyelashes. I really hope a lot of you can relate to this and you're not just looking at me like, what is this girl doing? But I just sort of put it on, I smash it on there, on the end. I like it to be nice and out there. Lovely. It all goes on the top and I just wipe that off with a cotton bud. I feel like that's so much easier than trying to be perfect in the first place. Look how good this is though. Like, compare my eyes right now. And that's just one sort of layer of this stuff. But to be honest, I'm not gonna put it all on the mascara. I'm lucky because I have fairly long eyelashes but the tips are just blonde. So when I put any, almost any mascara on, it makes them look a lot better. Anyway, I feel like I should be in a mascara ad because I feel like it just looks like a miracle. It looks like I go from having zero lashes to having long dark lashes. The 
And because my mascara is so chunky, because it's so old, um, sometimes if it gets sort of leaves clumps, I just get an, like I have a million of these. And I'll just go through it. And I'll just sort of Ah! I'm doing it with just my left hand. I don't know why I'm doing it with my left hand, I never do that. Um yeah, I just go through and separate them and get out the clumps. Make it look slightly less cakey. tried the other two but I just know that either one would look ridiculous so I use the medium I have this brush this is from um, eco tools they're really good I have I had like a whole I think I got it for a present um, whole like a kit of all different types of brushes I really like them so eco tools this is just their like angled brush mm -hmm. I use it for my eyebrows. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to use it for, <laughs> but that's what I do. And I just like do little strokes all the way along. I know, I feel like, I feel like it literally just makes no difference, but I'll show you when you compare them. It just makes it a little bit less sort of washed out. Oops. And as you can see, I haven't plucked my eyebrows in I don't know how long, like years probably. Um, I was planning on doing it the other day, but I didn't get to, and so you get to enjoy unplugged eyebrows. So, basically looks exactly the same, but that's just slightly darker. That's it. And I do my other one. And then I comb them again. I just realized the light is not on and the lighting is probably so bad. I hope you can see me. Hopefully. Because I know that the direct light's not even on my face right now. But voila! The final look for a makeup artist do they go like. This is what I do every day. I just put mascara on and sometimes do my eyebrows and sometimes put face tan water on that is all and i'm gonna end it there so thank you for watching this was my morning routine um if you have any questions or anything like that then feel free to comment down below please don't forget if you like this video click like and if you haven't already i would love you to also subscribe um, i'll see you guys next week